Okay, in this video, I want to show you how we can use an analog signal to control a binary process. So what I have here is an analog input that's represented by a generic 0 to 10 analog input going to my MicroLogic 1400. Um, you can see right now it's reading 500. And what I have is I have this setup that where when that analog signal sends over a voltage that will be interpreted as a thousand this greater than will become true when that goes true it's going to activate this b3 which represents the 25 pound bit representing that this this analog signal is a strain gauge and it has had 25 pounds put onto it once that's activated this 25 this will drop memory in also at the same time, my cylinder 1, which is controlled by a 4-2 directional control valve, solenoid activated spring return, will extend. When the cylinder is all the way extended, it will activate LS2, which will um, turn off this bit 3 here and deactivate the memory of the cylinder going out, allowing the cylinder to retract. Now, when LS2 is activated to deactivate these things, the part on conveyor will be true because it, the cylinder would have pushed that 25 pounds of, let's just say a 25 pound, 25 bag pound of uh, chicken feet on there. Okay, it'll push it onto the conveyor. Then the conveyor will go moving right until it gets to the end of the conveyor, which will then will deactivate the conveyor belt. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. Okay, so I'm going to activate the analog signal as if more grain is being put onto the strain gauge. And once it reaches 25 pounds, it will send a, a signal, a voltage over to the PLC, which will be interpreted as a thousand, and the cylinder is activated. Now the weight immediately drops back to zero. The cylinder extends, it activates LS2, and then the conveyor activates until it gets to the very end and it turns, this, it turns the conveyor off. So let's go ahead and walk through that one more time. So I'm going to simulate 25 pounds of a product being put onto a strain gauge. When that, strain, when that 25 pounds is there, the cylinder extends. When it's all the way extended and the, con, the part is read on the conveyor, the conveyor moves. At the end of the conveyor, the cylinder, the conveyor stops and the process is ready to rock and roll one more time. So this is just a quick example of how you can use an analog signal to control a very basic process. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you very much.